Smart contracts are great. Using them, we can create trustless, decentralized applications on blockchains. But sometimes understanding them and their operations can take time and effort. So having a tool which helps us understand smart contracts and their operations or functions can be very helpful. So that's what we will see in this video. We will check out QuickNotes Smart Contract Explorer and we will see how we can use that to understand smart contracts better. So without any ado, let's jump into it. To go to Smart Contract Explorer, go to quicknotes.com slash toolkit slash smart dash contracts and you will get to this page where the first thing you will see are some popular projects like Uniswap, ENS, Blur, Paraswap. And if you go to any of the project, you will see all the associated smart contracts with that project or protocol. And if you go to any of the smart contract, for example, let's say this Uniswap V3 factory, you will see all of the information associated with that smart contract. For example, the smart contract address, the chain the smart contract was deployed on, and if it's verified or not. You will also see some basic description about the smart contract. And below that, you will see the ABI of the smart contract. If you do not know what an ABI is, check out the video linked in the information button on top right corner. So you can copy the ABI from here, you can download it. And if you scroll down, you will see the main Unisoft V3 smart contract as well as the interfaces of that smart contract, which that main smart contract uses. And from here, you can either copy or download any of the smart contract. And on the left side or left column, you will see events associated with that smart contract and functions of that smart contract. All the functions in purple are write functions and the functions in gray are read functions. So if you look at events, so let's say that this is the pool created event, which is emitted whenever a new token pool is created on Uniswap. So this is the pool created event and all of this information is emitted along with that event. And this is the event signature. And not just that, you can even track whenever that event is emitted using quick alerts. You can just click on this button, deploy quick alert, and it will take you to the quick alerts page from where you can deploy that alert and listen for whenever that event is emitted. And if you do not know what quick alerts is, check out the video linked in the information button on top right corner again. Now let's look at some of the functions. So if we check create pool, what we can do is because this is a write function, we'll have to connect our wallet so that we can sign the transaction and send it to the smart contract. So to execute a write function, you'll have to connect your wallet, sign it from MetaMask or any other wallet. And then you'll have to enter the values or inputs and then execute the function by clicking run create pool. So once you have all the values, this will turn purple. So to give you an example, let me just paste my wallet address as the token address. But in reality, you will have actual token addresses deployed on the blockchain. And then you will enter a fee. So let's just enter any fee. It will obviously give me an error because that's not the correct fee. And then you run create pool and this will execute your function. Now let's look at a read function. to. And this is how a read function looks like. And just like we did in the write function, you enter values and then click on this button once it turns purple. And not just that, you also get code examples if you want to add this functionality in, in your code base. And you get code examples in the quick note SDK, VM, Ethers.js, Web3.js, Python Web3, and Ruby Web3 examples. You can just copy this code or even download this code example file. And if you go back to the home page, just below the popular projects, you will see the search bar where you can just 
search for any smart contracts let's say board ape your club and then from here you can just access this smart contract and you will see all the information around that smart contract the abi the associated contracts then their functions and events etc etc everything then you can also filter based on the chain for example if let's say that you want to just search for binance smart chain contract or just arbitrum mainnet contract you would be able to do that by just selecting the chain and then searching for the contract so this is how you can use quicknotes smart contract explorer and understand smart contracts better interact with them in a better and visual way and you can also get code examples for those particular interaction if you found this helpful make sure to leave a like subscribe to the quicknote youtube channel and i'll see you in the next one bye bye